IPSA Foundation for Scientific Research started this collaboration with the ICML, International Conference of Malignant Lymphoma. We started to organize a special session inside the meeting. As a member of the scientific board of IPSA Foundation, I think that it's a pleasure to have two of the most famous cancer researchers around the world, plus one very young talent uh, investigators. What I'll try to do is, is, is tell the audience uh, how my lab 15 years ago developed organoid technology, the capacity to take small stem cells from individual human organs and grow them in the lab. And then we'll give a number of examples how you can use this technology, particularly for personalized medicine. I will propose something that is radically different from what we have been doing in the last 20 years. My proposal is that we no longer try to inhibit the signals that stimulate cancer cells to divide, but that we rather further activate those signals. It is as if you make an engine that normally runs at 6,000 revolutions per minute. Instead of trying to slow down that engine that drives cancer cells proliferation, that we make that engine go at 10, 12,000 revolutions per minute. And if you then overheat that engine, the engine will simply explode and the cancer cells will die. My lab essentially works with human pluripotent stem cells and I'm going to show you how we use those technologies to address some mechanism of oncogenic competence and how we are using them also to recreate the 3D brain microenvironment of brain metastasis and CNS lymphoma. So I guess that the new frontiers in oncology and personalized oncology uh, are the following. So they will complement DNA analysis of what's currently very widely done. And I do hope that personalized uh, organoid grown from individual cancer patients will be the next step that complement the DNA analysis that we currently do. All the IPSA Foundation Forum are uh, always uh, free and open to the public. There were uh, people of pharmaceutical industry, citizens that were curious to see what's going on here today. I think that seminars that are open to the general interested audience is very important. Uh, we've seen in the past few years how little people really know about the medical advances uh, during the pandemic. And so it's extremely important that people understand the scientific principles and can form their own opinion on how useful they will be for their for their themselves. And the general public needs to see how hard we scientists are working to find real cures for real patients. I'm sure that uh, all the three will uh, deliver a very important uh, speech uh, and uh, will inspire all of us. Thank you.